What's up, everybody? It's Olaf, and no, there's not something wrong with your television sets. Your eyes aren't playing tricks on you. It's me that's playing tricks on you. You see, a few months ago, we put to a vote which house I would play as first in this here at Game of Thrones mod. And I did this under the assumption that the Tours and Tournaments DLC would be included with the mod. Now, as we all know, that isn't what happened because it takes time to integrate DLC into mods. And so for the last month or so, I have been playing as House Keltigar. In a couple days, you will also see that I played a campaign as House Clegane, which will run in parallel to this series. But what you didn't know is that I've taken some time to look into House Blackwood, to look into the lore, to look into the favoritism, and it irks me to think that I, a person who has almost always rooted for the underdog, would subject myself to playing as someone so lowly as the goody two-shoes Lord Tidos, when I could play as the Gigajad, lustful, arrogant, wrathful bastard Lord Jonos of Southstone. So yes, your fears are founded. I, today, and for the foreseeable future, will be playing as House Bracken, and my single, or I should say, my first goal, will be to destroy, utterly, House Blackwood and watch as people cry in the comments. I'm going to first pick a lifestyle. We're gonna do, we're gonna do strategy focus because I think if we're, our long-term goal is to rid the world of the most disgusting house in Game of Thrones, I think we really need to uh, be strategic about it. Uh, we're also gonna get a maester, send a raven to Old Town. And I'm not gonna do this yet because I don't really have a reason to. I'm just gonna get rid of that. I'm over three over my domain limit, so I should probably get rid of two of these. And then I might keep this one and try to get um, enough stewardship to have two regions. But uh, we'll see how that works. Choose a patron aspect. Let's see, who should we, who could we pick? We could pick the Smith because he gives a stewardship opinion. What, what is our... Um, our vassals, are they Republican or are they feudal? Okay, okay. Stewardship and fertility negative. This one gives a plus one to prowess. What is our prowess right now? It's only 18. It's not really that good. A lot of, yeah, these are all feudal. Some of them are Republic. Quite a lot of them are Republic actually. So you know what, that might not be a bad choice. Um, let's see, what does the smith say? He's the mender of broken things. He puts the world of men right. I believe that um, we would worship that because we're trying to right the wrongs of a long time. Now, if it was up to me personally, this is me being for real right now, I would just try to amicably end this nemesis like affair. I would try to end the feud like peacefully, but there doesn't seem to be an option for that. So you kind of just have to... Um, you know, deal with it as it comes. So we can hire a maester. We're already doing that. Children like guardians. My heir should probably be raised by me. And then my other daughter, Jane, I believe my uncle could do. Because he's also got a pretty solid one. Um, we have a man-at-arms regiment who we can station. There's a bunch of different bonuses that you can get, but Stonehenge... Stone Hedge, rather, seems to be the best spot to do it from. So we're going to do that. This is a cool new feature for tours and tournaments where you can um, station them and they get additional things going on. There's also this thing called Accolades, where you basically select a notable knight and they, they get to pick an Accolade, which is really cool. Um, Let's go through these real fast. I'm gonna try not to cut too much out of this first episode because I want to show you off, like show off the new features of the of the mod. I'm gonna train commanders at the moment because that seems more important. We're gonna also work on fabricating a claim on Raven Tree and hopefully get all of Blackwood Vale. I'm only gonna accept it if it's that uh, at the moment. So these are all powerful vassals. So let's see if anybody is where they shouldn't be. Lord Owen, everybody seems to be doing okay. This guy does not need to be here. He's not very good. Some of all skills, let's see. He's got no stewardship. We could do this. 
My other brother might be a good choice. If See if we have this now, then we can have two. So we're going to do that. Um, she's got a pretty decent managed domain. Let's see if that makes a difference. It doesn't. Okay, so we're going to leave it like this. Um, <laughs> this looks fine to me. We do not have an admiral because we have no coast. So we're now going to get rid of these two. I'm going to keep Sally Dance because it has a 10 development, which probably is pretty crazy, to be honest with you. My brother... I don't even think he's a, I don't think he's a vassal, so I'm gonna make him one. The zealot vassal stance. Oh, and there's different stances. Okay, so now he's my vassal. We'll get an alliance with him. Just right off the gate. Have a small one. So now I have two. Pretty solid ones right next to each other. This is a really nice strategic spot. I've done this before, but basically anybody who's coming down from up here has to go through Iron Hedge, and it is absolutely insane how strong it is. As you can see though, not a huge modifier if they have to be stationed there, so we're gonna leave it that way. Okay, let's see what kind of troops we can get. Mm, trebuchets. We have bombards, which are cool that there's cannons now in the game. But I... I don't know if I want to have... It, I don't want to use something that expensive right out of the gate. I might just increase the size of this, but for now I think I'll save my money. We'll save our money. Let's uh, look at who we can marry our children to, because we have a ton of them. Uh, and we can marry all of them off to get... This is an illegitimate bastard, which we could try to legitimize, but you don't have to. So we're gonna do this. Okay, tons of options already. We could immediately make a strategic move and marry her to the, uh, the, you know, the Stormlands, which there has been a bug recently that has caused Rob to kill himself once he wins this. I don't know if that's going to happen this time, but it's happened to me a couple times. And he will not accept matrilinear, so that's already a no. It has to be a matrilinear accept, which is cool though. I don't remember this being an option. Lord Garion will take one. All the phrase will take it, which could be good if Walder's eldest son is available to be married, but he's not. He's a little too old. His second oldest son is also not available to be married, so we're not even going to worry about that. If it's not in the line, it's not worth it. So we got Bridgewater. We do have House Kraken Hall. That might be a good one. That might be a really nice one. The Strong Boar Kraken Hall. He'll have a claim. We'll have an alliance with Kraken Hall. It's a six, nine percent chance. A strong warrior house with Herculean trait. And by the time she's... She's 9, so by the time she's 16, he'll only be in his 20s. I think that's a good one. It's a little far, but I think that that one's a solid, a solid idea. Let's pick her now. This one we could worry a little less about, but because she's our second heir, we should probably focus on also making this one matrilinear. Just in case the first one dies or something crazy happens. Um, for this one, I'm going to go with a Riverlander, probably. And I'm going to pick this guy. I will pick House Harrenhal. That seems like a good move. They're in, they're pretty close by. They're actually next door. So being allied to them would be wise. This one's less important because, again, you know. There, it's whatever. I would love it. I would love to hit another Riverlander, though. That's not House Frey. Oh, here we go. Okay, he's five. She's six. That's a good one. Yeah, and they're nearby. Again, alliance power. This one we can go a little bit crazier. Alan Tarly, I think, is Lord Tarly's brother. The music's gonna try to cut me out. Oh yes, this is a good one. Lord Edmir. 
we could have a nice strong alliance out the gate, he probably would be less likely to tell me not to do something, so I think we'll do that. And then last one. We can get another matrilinear, but again, it doesn't really matter at this point. We... I would probably say to secure a strong... House Tarly would probably be a really good one to get. So let's do that. Again, she's a baby though, but... Strong alliances for a strong house. So that's pretty much all we can do at the moment. We're hot, we're feuding with the Blackwoods, that's true. Two family members can get married. These are big ones too, because these also provide alliances. My sister can get married. So I'm going to, I don't, I feel like I'm cheating almost because there's so many good choices. Lord Siegfried of Harlow. I feel like that's more appropriate. I don't really want to marry them off right away to the huge houses, but he's right on the border. So if I needed to call him over, I could use that. House Rowan. Where are they? They're pretty close to the Riverlands, but not close enough for my, uh, my comfort. I'd like to scroll down a little bit. We have another Ironborn house that we could marry into. I'm just gonna keep going to see if we can find somebody that's actually nearby. Okay, here we go. But he's 17. But House Malister would be a solid one. Let's do that. All right, and then we're gonna get going. We're gonna hit start. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I'm gonna join his war. And then we're going to raise our army. And we're going to sally forth. So we have an obscene amount of alliances at the moment now. New Maester of Stonehenge. Uh, he's the grandson of Lord Kyle. That's very good for him. He's okay. Lord Randall. Dang, his armor looks insane. Oh my god. So we're gonna head south. Straight into this territory. I think that would be wise. Because Lord... I actually can't remember what their name is. The Tullys, that's right. Lord Tully is also heading there, so we'll head down there with him. He vacated? Wild. Let's take a look at the sweet armor set real fast. Oh yeah, this is, these, this uh, Tours and Tournaments DLC has made such awesome strides to making cool armor now for knights. 11 months, Siege of Car. I'd like to just be involved, I feel like. Seems like something that I would do. There we go. The Brackens aren't gonna sit on the sideline. Let's see what the, uh, let's see what the Cringewoods are doing. Let's see what the Cringewoods are doing. Um, they're nothing. They're not doing anything. He's not even fighting. We're gonna Siege Goal Town now, it looks like. The Siege still has five months left. Thankfully we're gaining money every turn because my army is so small. Um... But you never know. He is getting attacked by Lord Gendry of Mudgrave, which is a... That guy's so sick. Such a sick soldier. I have played around as House Blackwood before. Um, in case you were curious, I did think about it before I made the switch to Horse Boys. Uh, let's see. You're always there for me, my son. I'm going to gain stress either way, but I'm not going to put a hook on my bastard child. I'm gonna let him just know that I love him and I would give him a tiny kiss on his forehead. I believe we're sieging. I believe we're sieging the town now. Is this canonically what happened? Did they attack Goldtown? Like, is that how it went? 
I feel like it probably did, but I could be wrong. Also, Gold Town just looks sick. Making Knights of Children. Sure. My son can become a knight. Let's see. I am sitting around the map table when these two are huffing and puffing because they want me to pick one of their strategies. I would like you to can't like do as you see fit. You should not have to ask me what I think. The gift of generosity. Give others their due and you receive your own in turn. So he's a generous boy. Yeah, he can be generous. I don't see why that would matter at all. I feel like that's totally acceptable. Normally we have five per turn, so we can actually get rid of that debt pretty quick. Oh, the reach helped them. That is actually really interesting. It's gonna cost 105. I'm going to disband and I'm going to let it go the way it's gonna go. Defender of the faith, she's very angry. Barbara was furious that anyone could target someone expecting to speak on behalf of Hugor of the Hill. You're zealous. Am I zealous? I don't think I am. I would like you to be, well, let's see. You're arrogant, rude, ambitious, zealous. Yeah, that, that actually tracks with, with your character. So this is, has me a little curious because normally the reach does not help them. And I would not help at all in this situation. So I'm curious to see how this is going to go. Oh no, they're getting crushed. Somehow we won. Okay, so who is the king? Why is... Okay, so yeah, there's a bug going on where, and this is crazy because this is, wait, wasn't I, didn't I pick somebody? Wasn't it one of my kids? No, it's one of the phrase kids. I guess I didn't want to marry Stannis. Foolish of me because I didn't think it was going to happen. But there's a bug going on. We're just going to have to go with this. We're going to say Robert died in, in the conquest, but he kills himself because he's ashamed that he took the throne. It's very weird. It has happened a couple times now. Um, I have an obscene amount of allies. I would definitely not, I couldn't call on them, but I could call on quite a few people if we wanted to uh, get rid of those. But we're gonna have to wait for this, this debt to go away. So unless something significant happens, uh, we're just gonna ride it out. All right, so our dear Barbara here has come of age. She is, she has a basic understanding of war. So she's like a dutiful captain. She ended up arrogant, rude, ambitious and zealous so not too far from the lustful arrogant honest wrathful uh papa that i am she's got a dutiful captain train fighter and a yielding defender very solid so she gained an additional 60 taxes <clears throat> unfortunately i can't host a grand wedding i would love to but we have now solidified this alliance and if you if you watch the tandem series, the, the Clegane series, this guy will be familiar to you. This is my daughter. She's literally a knight. That is sick. There's no tournaments yet. Um, and it also, it's, it's wise to do them closer to where you live. Because if you go too far, it can be kind of annoying. All right, so he has bombards and river bows. We're definitely going to grab some... Uh, trebuchets. I'm going to station these right there. Definitely going to add that to my repertoire. I can declare war on Tidos. I know I can. That's true. 10 for a maester. Not going to do that yet. We're kind of just going to chill for a little bit. Um, again, mostly just so that we can be prepared. I would like... King Stannis doesn't care much about me. I also don't even know. It'd be Renly. Available activity at Grand Tour costs 205. Not quite there yet. We'd really need a little more money. That's when you're like playing tall and you want to just chill and you want to like scout the lands. Can't really do something like that at the moment. Um, I do love the new travel system. I think it's really cool. The, a war is going to cost a lot of money once we actually get to the point where we can go to war. So I don't, I don't want to do it lightly because he's got a lot of troops. 
but we definitely want to move while we're young as opposed to when we're old. We're going to hit Stalwart Leader just to get that extra prowess. They're marrying House Harrenhal? Sure. So now we got a betrothal to House Harrenhal. We could still send a Maester. Not going to do that yet. She's come of age. And she's married. I don't know why it was telling me that after the fact. He's about to come of age. He's a squire. I don't think anything... I mean, he's technically in House Bracken, so... Let's see. He's no longer bestowing royal favor. Challenge rival to a fight. He's better at fighting than I am. We have to give him that. He is a more convincing fighter. He has almost no allies though, whereas we have a ton. So I think what I'm gonna do, honestly, I think I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna go for my claims here. I'm going to use my infinite strength to call in all of the men of the realm to eliminate the evil of the world that is House Blackwood. And anybody who's crying about this, just know that it's, it's all a game mechanic, baby. It's all a game mechanic. Okay, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to eat the 18 months. We're gonna fast forward a little bit then. Everybody's being a little silly. They're going for some reason. Oh, they wanted to head off House Kraken Hall. They should have come by the sea. Would have probably been smarter. Catelyn's receiving a good education. Everything's going well. Everything's going fine. Everything's going fine. We're going to take this land over and then we won't have to go to war for a while, which will be nice because I don't really want to. I want to definitely play around with these tours and tournaments um, perks. My people, the Riverlanders, are a proud and widespread people. However similar we are, I cannot deny that my subjects have started to act differently from Riverlanders elsewhere. Yeah, I don't think... I'm pretty sure that they're proud of the fact that they're Riverlanders. I don't think he would make a divergent um, line. He might. He wouldn't. I do think that potentially that would happen to other people. Did they really get on a boat to come over here? Where are they? Oh, they keep fighting the Kraken Halls to get battle points. That's actually insanely stupid. A child of my dynasty, Barbara, had a kid. Em wow, what in the millennial name is that? Emberly? I don't think so. Gwyneth, Tilly, Bria, Sharna, Mariana, Silwa, Rosamond Bracken, Violet Bracken. Violet's a cool name. I feel like something happened with wars. They take longer. Like they're more difficult than they used to be. They, they definitely take more effort, which is kind of frustrating because, I mean, it's fine, but war used to be a lot easier. For sure. I have a little bit of a tickle in my throat, so if you hear that, I'm sorry. I'm going to call this guy as well. There's nothing I won't do when it comes to the erasure of these people. Come on. We're going to hit him up here on the coast. That's a beautiful shot. White piece? No. This is, this is, that was never an option. Peace was never an option. And there we go. It's over. Lord Randall did it for us. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful man. Feud Bracken victory. You defeated Tidus Bracken is winning against... Oh. My vassal and nemesis. Interesting. So he's my vassal now. 
So what do I technically control? Petition liege. Royal visit. Interesting. I don't really want that at the moment. Well, there you go. Southstone has expanded exponentially. And as an order of business, we need to we need to get rid of um Oh, it's because I never had an admiral before. We have to We kinda have to get rid of uh these these gross these gross gods. We'll worry about that in a minute, but um Convert faith and county. It's gonna take him nine years to do that. Maybe man as well. Might as well do something. Let's pick an admiral. I'm going to. Oh, he's terrible at finance, though. But he'd be a pretty solid. I wonder if I can swap him around. Oh, there you go. This can literally be anybody. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. That guy's really good. Oh, wow. Do the same thing, my friend. Do the same thing. How is this an act of tyranny? What if I gave you low obligations? Religiously unprotected. So now I can convert that, get rid of that, get rid of those disgusting old gods, we don't need those. The way of the sword, the endless clash of metal on metal, the chafing of armor, the sting of sweat, it is a dance that is familiar as it is exhausting. To have my sword, attack, dodge, defend, and repeat, maybe it would be good to practice my skills. I gain respected expert. What else we got? I can ransom this guy. Might as well do that. Is he not on the council? Oh, oops. Well, I can fix that. There you go. Forty-eight hundred. Yeah, I feel like I should swap them. Because he's still pretty solid, and he looks like he handles it better. So we'll just do that. We can create an accolade now. I'm going to do Lyle. I'm going to set him up as... What is Contender? I'm going to set him up as Vanguard. I like Tactician, too. Or should we do something else? Thug. Valiant. You can be a Valiant. Glory Hound, army damage plus 30%. Nice. And... The Steel Hand, Tactician Valiant. That's interesting. The Stone Hand. Ooh, a Valiant Vanguard. Create Accolade. Lyle Strongbard, the Stone Hand. That is... That is pretty sick. Betrothed can marry. And I will do that because you guys just helped me win that war. Very nice, thank you. You're feuding with House Blackwood. So how does this work? Now what do I have to do? Never forgive, never forget. Pretty interesting. Slightly more likely to succeed. So we do have we do have to get rid of this guy. We could try to murder him. But more than likely, we should really murder his kids. Get rid of him, you know what I mean? Because what what good is it gonna be to get rid of the other people? If he's still got children. I want you to support my schemes. And I also would like to invite this guy. Harry comes of age. He got intricate web weaver. Very nice. So he's a bit of a Bess. Who is Bess? We're gonna get a physician. Hmm. I can petition my liege now. 
Oh, no, not yet. I have to wait a minute until uh, it comes up. The new maester, good. Thanks. The stone hand needs a worthy successor. It won't let me pick him. This guy doesn't serve as captain. So I think I have to recruit him? Thormund? I'm gonna knight him. There. Has been hovering around my council meetings lately, knowing his interest in matters of leadership. I cannot help but feel that the man is waiting for me to impress him. I could probably engage him in conversation. On the other hand, it might be better for it to simply see me interacting with my men. Let's just do that. Oh, he doesn't serve as a captain at the moment. That's why. Force him, for sure, to do it. My cousin... Forbid her. Forbid. So now he does. Now he serves it. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Lord Titus wants to do something. What should we have him do? We could probably make him an admiral. He hates me, which is totally understandable. But I'm going to make him do things for me at the moment. Mm -hmm. This is going well. This is going a lot better than I thought it would. I mean, we're only 36. We've already taken this over. What can I do? What can I do? What can we do? He's helping me do this, so I don't really want to risk doing anything else. My counselor Owen died because he ate too much good stuff. Totally get it, man. I totally get it. I would have done the same. I would have done the same. You start off really strong as House Bracken. I honestly, like, I've done... Like I said, I played as House Blackwood for, a, like, a minute. And it was much harder. Like, you you get kind of an unfair advantage. They, this dude has five kids that you can marry off, just, like, at, off the bat. And I could have just done that probably by myself, too. But he called in all of his allies at the same time. So there was... Really? No reason? Oh. Humble versus arrogant. Well. Yeah, that'll do it. So let's plan a hunt. Let's 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 mess with this. Oh. Choose a quarry from a variety of local animals. Increase Venator hunting trade experience. Interesting. There's hunts, there's falconry. And there's also legendary. It requires legendary reciting. Let's just do a regular hunt. Okay. Oh. Let's do... Let's go to Three Penny Wood. There's no holding. It's got positive forest. Point to Caravan Master. Uh, there's no real risk of anything happening. We could hire... Um, a forest guide, which would pretty much eliminate everything. So, I don't know what to click now. Oh, here we go. Activity options. Okay. Reasonable party. An intimate party. We'll just do some prestige. I see. It's going to cost 54. Let's just do this. Let's just see. The intent is to slay a beast. And let's start the hunt. I will be hosting a hunt in Three Penny Wood. The time has come for us to depart. I have no doubt I will soon be returning home covered in glory. It's true. There's nothing quite like a good old-fashioned hunt. Can't wait. 
As we, arri as we await the arrival of the rest of the guests, my servants can get started on the preparations. The gameskeeper checked the woodlands each day for signs of the quarry, while establishing a camp closer to the hunting grounds. I have checked my gear and horse many times. It won't be long. Soon, TM. We are waiting on the activity. We could also... Yeah. Activity log. Interesting. I'm waiting on activity guests. Master Hollis assembles the party as the sun rises over the camp in the woodlands near Three Penny Wood. My many gameskeepers and flushers have been poring over the area for tracks and fumes. While there are sadly no signs of a buck in the area, there is evidently plenty of hares. No matter, a devious hare can still make a mighty good sport. Hmm. I want to hunt something with them. Poachers here in the Lord's Wood? They huddle together as I ride up with my guards, making a poor job of hiding the dead stag behind them. We did not do this, please have mercy, glorious lord. Their blades and bows belly their words. They will hang. Ooh, he would definitely hang them. Yeah, he would hang them. Living off the land, sappers is a good one to get. Oh, there we go. My spymaster Tommen is crouched down on the ground, humming cheerfully, picking asters. He appears to have lost all interest in the hunt. Lord, what a bounty of nature, look at these plants. Truly, the wealth of the earth knows no bounds. We do not appreciate these simple treasures enough. Get back on your horse. A child of my dynasty. My daughter had a baby. He had a... Oh, they named him after me. He likes to gamble. What a little chap. Let's just do... Nah. I'll let you do whatever. Cornering the wolf. We did find a wolf. Barbara signals across the woodland. The whole wolf pack crouches in a hollow not far off. The beasts bolt up on our approach, howling the alarm as they retreat into the leafy bushes, fangs snarling. We chase after the fleeing silver vermin, focusing on the largest of the group. Now begins the real chase. Let's see. An accident will most likely occur. Interesting. We can ride after it. We can mine the bank. Or we can head it off. He's a tactician. Let's try to head it off. Oh, did we lose it? Oh, there's there's villagers. We'll just we'll just give them a little donation. A little donation. They can they can keep going. We watch for the wolf from our concealed bowline, tensing with anticipation as the flushers' cries and baying hounds grow louder. The silver dog suddenly leaps into the clearing ahead, fangs flashing, charging straight towards us in terror. I would like everybody to loose their arrows. <laughs> Hunt like hunts like these are pure joy. I cannot wait for next year. There's nothing quite like the thrill of bringing down a mighty beast. Hoster Bracken directs the breaking up, clumsily skinning the carcass before letting the game's masters take over. We place the eager dog share of the spoils on the stretched tide before departing for camp and home. I failed my intent. I become the owner of these wolf hang. Oh, that's cool. The fun. The hunt is over. We gained some hunter experience. We got dangerous beasts slain, even though we literally forced it to die. So <laughs> I gained the trait hunter. Oh, I see. It's interesting that you can like. 
sort of level yourself up now. And we've arrived home. We were gone for 110 days. That seems like a really long time to be gone, to just go hunting. Oh my god. Doesn't he already have one? Oh. Is it because somebody else is being? I forbid him to do it. Forbid. Thormund needs to be the successor. There. Lyle cracking all though. That man's a freaking lad. Also, Barbara's pregnant again. Very nice. Very good. Catelyn comes of age. She also got warrior. I don't know what happened. This guy died. The feeble. Ah. House Tully. And that's his... That's his heir. So technically... We can potentially negotiate an alliance. Uh, best died. He doesn't... Oh, I have too many alliances. And who is this? My brother-in-law. Who the hell did she marry? Who were you married to before? Why are you marrying all these powerful houses? I don't understand. Also, this guy has not found anything yet. This has gone really well. I'm actually surprised by how exceptionally uh, fine this has been. I only have fine health now, and I'm only 38, so this guy's not gonna live that long. She's gonna have a kid. Is there... Oh yeah, right. House Malister. I remember now. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Okay. It's all coming back to me. It's all coming back to me. Let's see what we can do in here. Some of these are expensive, but... Jonathor. Otho. I like Otho. So who is your heir? You don't have one, do you? Oh, he got, he got hail. Very nice. None of these are going to be good yet because I'm not playing as her, so I'm just going to wait. Southstone is huge. Let's see. Let's zoom in here. We're still trying to find stuff so that we can get a hook on this guy. It's taking a long time per... Oh, duh. No wonder it's taking a long time per turn. I could try to murder him. I would love for something to happen. Oh, a new... Let's see. A pet dog. Amiable. I'm gonna call him Thunder. Have you been informed by a mutual acquaintance that you and I share a similar interest? Oh. I enjoy the thrill of the boar hunt. I like dangerous hunts. Something that, uh... Would you care to join me? Yes. I would love to join you on a hunt. What are you talking about? Wait, okay, so let me, let me look at something real fast. This guy's my steward. We could honestly swap them. That looks like it's more beneficial. This guy's got a better chancellor rating. I really wish this guy was better. Is what it is. We arrive at the spot where Lord Damon, gamekeeper, had last seen the boar. After exchanging some pleasantries, we release the dogs and start trying to find the trail of the boar. Let's see if we can find the tracks. We search the countryside for several hours with no signs of game anywhere. Reluctantly, we decide to call the hunt to an end. I don't understand why we would lose anything. We just had a good time. We were just having a silly, goofy time. The Boars of Keeler. My master of the hunt, Barbara, brings word of beasts spotted in my realm. I'm hearing much talk from the lordship of Ulthwyth. It is said that there is an excellent prospect for hunting thereabouts, with many a boar. Interesting. Okay. Well, we're definitely going to do that. Fluid intake sensitivity. Of late, my joints have ached, so... There's been a certain bruising? Inflammation? Oh my god. He's going to die. Hopefully I can get one more hunt in 
for the poor guy before he succumbs to like super cancer or something ridiculous. All right, here we go. Let's plan a hunt. We're gonna do a hunt. Um, we've we've been told of this boar sighting. We have a forest guide. We're here to slay a beast. What is this one? Hills. Is it a mountaineer is the one you need? So we need a mountaineer. This is gonna be an intimate party. Mm, I mean, we can get that money back and like, I'm only missing five, dang. Whatever, we'll just do a, we'll just do a regular one, I guess. There we go. I do love this outfit. I love the, the outfits. I like the travel system a lot. I'm a big fan of this. He's staring at the ground. My lord, there's an ant's path here. He doesn't... I'm just gonna... I'm gonna take over. I'm not gonna stop for some ants. As we arrive... We're getting ready, we're setting up the camp, and we can feel that the boars are close. Soon. It's gonna be three months until this hunt begins. Oh, I got walking dog. Good job, Thunder. Love that guy. Oh, here we go. There's clearly a stout boar in the area. Dangerous but worthy game. Let's get out there. Oh man, let's see. I mean, maybe he'll die like Rob does in the show. My spy master is crouched. Ah. Uh, Get back on your horse, fool. This guy's an idiot. 80% chance of, of uh, success. She spots the sharpened tusks. The boar is hard to distinguish, but there's no doubt it's there, observing us through the dense trees. It locks eyes with me, and almost as though the animal senses my intent, suddenly takes off in a flash of dark fur. After it, we ride, let's do this. Try to spear it. After hours of riding, we finally cornering, we finally cornering, we finally corner the wily beast. Our chase has not been in vain. The exhausted, panicked animal has turned to bay, struggling to stand and squealing in panic. The proud boar squeals, sharpened tusks ready to cleave and twain any who approach as it is surrounded by sheepish hounds and huntsmen. Somebody could be killed randomly. I could lose my pet dog. I'm gonna go for it. I got killed by the boar. <laughs> uh, he died doing what he loved. I have just been informed that Lord Yonos is dead. It seems he was gored on a boar's tux while hunting. It is a dangerous pastime. I would like its head for my wall. I own, own Lord Slayer. All right. So we still have all this land. And there are worse things that could happen. We still have Wolf Fang. Which apparently it wants me to click on. Court artifacts, which I can't do anything with. Ugh. We're going to fill up our council real fast. Actually, this should probably be somebody who's really competent so that they can uh, make sure that I can have two. I'd still like you to be that. 
My Marshall. Can this be my husband or no? Yeah, it could be that guy, whatever. All right, so it's basically the same court. His chivalry? Absolutely insane. Dude gives crazy chivalry. Or not chivalry, martial. What is her martial tree already? I guess we'll do chivalry focus since that's what she wanted to do anyway. And yeah, that's going to be it for this one. Um, did not expect the old lord to die. We can declare war. Lord Owen's claims. My brother-in-law, huh? I can make him the lord of Harrenhal. That could be an interesting one. I'm not allied with him or anything. But who am I allied with? I'm only allied with Krakenhall, which... Oh, I can negotiate two alliances. Negotiate. And negotiate. But anyway, that's gonna be it for this one. Life is cruel here in the Seven Kingdoms. 